Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Deborah, and today I'm going to be showing you a quilt block and it's the Irish chain quilt block. Now I loved what I saw on YouTube from a channel called Colour Girl Quilts and I will put the link below. I'm using this fabric which is Moda, it's Zen Chic pattern. I don't know what the actual name of the fabric is but that's who it's come from. I've had it for quite a while and this would probably work better if you had a jelly roll, but I want the black and white theme and this is the only fabric that I have in black and white. So I'm going to make it work. What else you'll need is you'll need some white fabric and some black fabric. Now I've just used yardage for this, but again, if you had a jelly roll in these, you could use that. So I've cut two and a half inch strips and I've also cut some odd sizes other than the two and a half. And I'll show you why as we go through. Now this quilt block, ends up quite big. When it's all sewn up, it'll be 14 inches. So I'm, I'm going off what Colour Girl Quilts has done, but I'm changing it up a bit because I like to do that. So what I have done here is I've created some strips like this. And as I said, if you had jelly roll strips, then these would be longer, but these are 10 inches because I've only got the layer cake that I'm working from. So I've got four lots of them that I've sewn and put together. And how I've done that is like this. Your first row, so I'm going to be cutting these up in a moment. That's not going to be the quilt block, obviously. So your first row is going to start with a black. Now normally you would cut these into squares, you could strip quilt them, but it has a piece in the centre that is six and a half inches wide. So I've cut that out of fabric just out of yardage at six and a half inches. So that's going to be the first row in this block. Now, the first three rows are going to be the same as the last three, and in the center, there's a different one. So it's basically seven two and a half inch squares, if you like, by seven two and a half inch squares. So it's gonna be a, a quite a big block, which will be good, because it'll come together really quickly. Then the second row, it starts with a pattern so this is our second row here, pattern, and then two blacks, and then two patterns and, and a white. And then the third row, it starts with a white. So this this one here. You can see it coming together as I'm putting them down now. So this starts with a white on either end. It's got um, a, two patterns here, then the black, and this is actually a pattern in the center. It's not a white. A lot of the fabrics in here, in my actual um, fabric pile, the, the layer cake, are quite, um, you know, it's a tone on tone. So you're not getting a lot of difference in there. Now the white I'm using is a Moda, and I believe that I'm using 98. I think that that's the color, because I usually use 200, and there wasn't enough in, um, in stock for me to get that, so I got the 98. And then finally, the fourth row, or the middle row, it will be here and you cut two four and a half inch strips. Now I will put all of this in the description below if you wanna go back and review that and and put them together with two patterns and one black in the center. And you can see the Irish chain. Now those three at the top get repeated and turned over so that there'll be three at the bottom. So what I'm able to get from each 10 inch square will be four strips. So I've already pieced all this together. Now I'm going to cut them into two and a half inch strips. So here's my ruler. Now I just have to go back here. I'm probably going to cut them in five first actually. I hadn't thought about that till that, that moment. Five inches. This ruler is a five inch ruler. So it's just easier to cut the five inches and then trim the other two. That way I might be a bit more accurate. And of course, make sure when you're doing this that you're lining up these with something on your quilt, on your actual piece. Oh, I'll just show you the back as well. So what I've done is I've lined to the dark side and I've done that through all of the blocks. So I've lined the white to the, the pattern and then the pattern to the black. It's worthwhile doing that. Otherwise, you'll get some of your coloring showing through, particularly with the black. The black is very strong. So I'm going to cut this one first. Just going to cut this at the five inch mark. Now, as I've said 
on a previous video. I'm not the best quarter in the world, but I make it work and I get my quilt done. So we'll just chop this and then we'll chop it again into a two and a half inch strip. So I've got two and a half marked on this one. I don't have a long two and a half inch ruler, so I'm just using the five inch. So we've got, end up with four of these. Now, because this is the middle strip, you only need one of these per block. So you're gonna have three of these left over for three other blocks. So all four of the blocks that you've done are going to be cut in half at first and then they'll be cut in half again. Here are my blocks that you saw before and I've chopped them all up and made them into two and a half inch strips. So what we need with this one is we only need one of the one that's got the black in the middle. So that's the centre strip. So we can put the other three aside, which means that we've already done three for another block. And then we need two of each. So I've got four. So this is going to go to make another block as well. And with the black and white, it's fairly easy to see where the pattern's going with the Irish chain. And then I'll just grab two more of these and put these over here. So I've got another set at least to make one more block. And then with these ones, these just need to be moved down. So we're just going to put this down here. Now, of course, you can do more in terms of mixing this up. It wouldn't be a problem to do that if you made a lot of these. I've only made those four sets you've seen so far, but certainly I could mix it up by making different ones. So there you go. There is my Irish chain. So what's going to happen when you take the next slot is you're going to get a secondary block. So you're going to have this here and then you're going to have a white one here. So if we just do that again and put that together so I can show you how the next one will work. Now I have a directional print. A lot of these things I'm using are directional. So I just have to be careful about where I put them. And that's the same print. So I'm going to move it up here with this one and then put the others into it. But probably not a good idea to use a directional print or you're going to get the problem that I've got where I have to make sure that my prints are up the right way. Now that's down the bottom. And this is the middle strip, so that will go there. And then I've got, must have a couple of others. Sorry, that's not the middle, that goes up there. This is the middle strip here. We put one there and then that one, and then I need this one, the one I'm looking for. So that gives you a bit of an idea of how it will look when it comes together. And you'll get this, you know, secondary sort of cross block in here. So that's it. There is my Irish chain quilt. Or well, actually it's only a square, but I will complete the rest of it. It might take me a little while. It's certainly a lot slower than other quilts that I do. But I've had this fabric, as I said, forever. And I really love it and I wanted to use it. And I love the black and white. Probably not for everyone's taste, but for me, it's really lovely. So that's it. Thank you very much for joining me today. And I will see you again next time. This is Deborah. Cheers.